All right. So I shared this post about an hour ago and wanted to explain uh, what you're seeing here in case I haven't explained it to you before. I've explained it to a bunch of people, uh, but I'm just posting this out there in the public. So I wanted to uh, record a little screen share here and show you why I put these uh, these numbers out the way that I do. So I price the exact same scenario every single time I post these sheets like this. This is a 30-year fixed rate, fully amortizing FHA loan, uh, 740 credit score, $250,000 purchase price, 6000 monthly income, 3.5% down payment. Here's all the other disclaimers that I need to have in this um, advertisement of rates. So the reason I have two numbers here so this is, we're talking about points again, and this is always confusing to people. Um, and that's why I just, I just post this exact same scenario with the exact same criteria of how I, how I put this up. So it, if you didn't care about how I came up with this, you could just watch these two numbers um, each time I post this and see if they went up or if they went down. But if you want to know why I choose these two numbers, this is the scenario priced with no points. This is the baseline rate. Uh, you're not paying any money to get this interest rate. You're not receiving any money to get this interest rate. That's not exactly correct. You're actually receiving a tiny credit. So you would actually get paid a little credit to take this interest rate, but it's essentially zero. And this is why I advertise this rate. It's always the, it's the top one. Um, this is baseline interest rate for this scenario at the exact time that I posted this. This one is what would the interest rate be with purchasing roughly one point? The reason I do this is because some people advertise this with no explanation except for point uh, putting some little tiny verbiage somewhere so that this looks like the baseline interest rate and that's deceptive in my opinion if i don't advertise this way and somebody's choosing to be deceptive and choosing an arbitrary amount of points to include in this i i could price this with two points or three points or four points i, I could i could price whatever amount of points i want in here and keep dropping that interest rate and it'll look like it's a better and better interest rate but it's you're just paying the fee to get this rate so to make sure that i'm not uh overlooked in my advertising if somebody else is willing to post real interest rates which most people aren't um, but when you do see advertisements you may see something like this but you need to look for to make sure that you're you know, comparing uh, the same thing you need to look for what they're charging in points so i always do the closest i can get to zero points on the chart so that's that's my top one so this is baseline interest rate for this scenario this is the interest rate with roughly one discount point in fees so the this is 1.373 points there wasn't a 1.0 and the next one down was less than one so my my Logic is always to go to the first, to go to the rate that has at least one discount point um, and the the lowest of those options with at least one discount point. So if it says 0.9 discount points, that's not the one I choose. I go to the one that says at least 1.0 uh, points if he's. So this one's the, the baseline. This one you would have to pay 1.373% of your loan amount as a fee to get this interest rate and so many people choose to advertise with one point or two points in fees so i'm also including that so that if you want to compare what i can offer to somebody else that's being a little less transparent you can see those numbers but this one's always what i'll post it's the interest rate with i i choose the first interest rate that has a credit so even if it was only cost you a 0 0.0001 or whatever, I don't choose that one. I choose the first one that actually gives you money back so that there are no points charged. You actually receive a credit. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any more questions, just send me a message or give me a call. Be glad to go over any of this. Be glad to price out your 
your specific scenario, give you what your interest rate and, and APR, annual percentage rate. Um, I can give you your uh, very close to your cash out of pocket that should be required at closing. I can run all of those numbers for you. Uh, that's it. Uh, give me a call. Let's talk.